Welcome to this new add-on spotlight. In this add-on spotlight we're looking at the Beluga Airbus. The official name is the Airbus Beluga XL A33700. Uh, it's version 4.1 according to the site which I found. I found it on uh, msfsaddon.com so not msfsaddons.com uh, Be aware that if you extract the file you need to use for example WinRAR or 7-zip because the default zip utility from Windows will say that the file is corrupt. Uh, I was a little bit surprised to find this airplane only on that site. I looked at the uh, the other sites, uh, the other known sites like uh, Flight Simulator 2, but there's really nothing you can find about this uh, aircraft. So I'm not sure how uh, legal it is, to be honest. Uh, as you can see, the aircraft uh, looks great. <laughs> it's huge, really huge. Um, but it also has some issues. Uh, Although it says that officially it should work with the A32 Annex add-on, uh, for me it doesn't work. I would say 100% correct. So let's uh, go inside, and here's what you already see: is the displays are not working yet. Uh, even though I've got the A32 Annex uh, add-on installed, uh, I'm using the A32 Annex uh, developer add-on, so maybe that's the issue. Um, other than that, the, the airport looks, uh, or the aircraft, looks pretty detailed, but um, I think that makes sense because it's using the uh, say kind of default uh, A32 Annex add-on. The uh, reason why I'm saying it is because in the uh, developer edition you have the... Uh, where was it? You've got the iPad. Oh, let me do it another way. iPad here and there's, there's no iPad here yet, so it looks great. But there's some work to do, even though it's version 4.1, but again, can have to do with compatibility with the A32 and X add-on. So, let's take the challenge and let's take off. And I can already tell you that's uh, a huge challenge uh, with this uh, aircraft. Uh, because it's really, <laughs> really, really, really big. And uh, one of the things is that you need to make sure that, it, that you get enough, enough speed, because else you will... Uh, Hear a very nice uh, scratching sound, and uh, then the uh, tail of the airplane now uh, will uh, hit the floor or hit the runway, I should say. So I'm uh, departing from Schiphol Airport. I selected the longest runway there is uh, on this airport. And the reason I'm flying it like this is because I want to show you how. big it is but also how dangerous it is if you go too slow in this case where we're doing it correctly right so so we're now uh, airborne as you can see and uh, you can here you can really see how big this, this aircraft is right it's really huge uh, one of the other observations I made is that you really need to retract your flaps as soon as possible uh, because that will give you more airspeed and that will allow you to climb a little bit better. We also uh, ensure that the gears are up. And then you can uh, can switch the autopilot. It's again it's hard to see, right? So I, I will try to, to find out uh, if it's compatible with the normal A32 uh, add-on. Uh, and I will post it in the comments uh, because really using without displays it's let's say kind of hard to fly right so I'm gonna increase the altitude a bit and then we're going to manage mode let's see if auto throttle works from the outside right so we're now flying straight so you can see there's I would say I wouldn't call this a version 4.1 to be honest uh, but maybe it's me uh, because all the aircrafts you see which which we 
tried in the other spotlights are re are really having all the details here you can see the uh, the green dot it's flowing around uh, it's not correctly aligned uh, so the big the big stuff looks okay but there's still some work to do uh, for the developer which is unknown uh, for some reason I don't know why maybe he did borrow this airplane and converted it without permission or something so if you want to try it you can try it but be I would say um, be careful because it's I would say not 100% what you would expect from I would say the community uh, provided aircrafts like the A330 the A320 NX and several other add-ons but again it's funny to fly in it uh, so here ends this uh, spotlight add-on I uh, hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider using the like button. If you've got questions or comments or maybe tips how to fly better with this uh, aircraft, uh, please let me know via the comment box. If you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then consider to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.